welcome to Grand Prix 2. It's been a while since we've done any Grand Prix 2, but this time it's going to be different. We're going to do multiplayer. I'm going to race against myself because I don't have any friends. No, let's choose a driver and a team, which I actually did already. Uh, this is a battle between two w racing wheels from different era. Trustmaster T500 RS that I have currently plugged in uh, will be the driver number one. Uh, very, very capable modern racing wheel. And the driver number two will be Trustmaster Grand Prix 1, the wheel that we restored in my previous video. Uh, check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, uh, this Trustmaster I bought, I think, 2018 or something, so it's about four years old. Uh, it's a very capable, good racing wheel, modern racing wheel, no dri direct drive though, but it, is, it, it does its job very well. Uh, Trustmaster Grand Prix 1 uh, was a very cheap racing wheel. Uh, I think it was released in the mid-90s, but I personally bought it in 1998, so that is what we restored in, in my previous video. But yeah, uh, we will see which one is better. I, I think I might know the answer, but, you know, we have to do some science. Let's drive. Uh, drive options. We have only the player cars selected, so no AI cars. 12% race, which will be in... Well, we're going to do Adelaide, because it's one of my favorite tracks, and I never get to race here, because it no longer exists in any, any calendar. So, uh, it'll be a 10 lap race. Uh, we'll start by qualifying, just a short qualifying session, and uh, Trustmaster D500 RS is up first. Okay, this is my first try, let's, start, let's just try to keep it on the road. Oh, very, very poor first turn. This lap is not going too well, I haven't really been concentrating well enough. Oh, it's a very, very poor lap. 118.6, and now we're running out of fuel. I didn't do any practice. I just made sure that everything works, but yeah, it, it's quite clumsy. But that's that's all right. Now it's it's time to do a lap with the Trustmaster Grand Prix 1. So let's do that. So here we are. Uh, I switched the wheel. Now we are driving with Trustmaster Grand Prix 1. If you didn't watch my restoration video of this, this wheel, uh, you probably don't know, but uh, there's no pedals. So there are these flappy paddles behind the wheel, and, and I operate the throttle and brake with those. So I will have my hands full with this. Let's, let's make sure we have the right setup. Yes, we do. Excellent. So, let's see what kind of a lap we can get here. I think we'll do one quick lap and, and then we'll do another round of qualifying and then we'll go to the race. Okay, here comes the first flying lap for Trustmaster Grand Prix 1.
I did add some low sensitivity zone for the wheel so that now it's a little bit easier to keep it straight on a, on a straight line. I'm on neutral. I, uh, my hands are so busy. Changing the gears and operating the throttle and everything. 18, 19, and P2 for now. So let's go to the pits and see about the results. We are one second behind the Trustmaster 5, uh, T500 RS, even though the lap was very, very clumsy. So, yeah, we'll try another round of qualifying laps, I think we just barely might have the time for it. Okay, here we go. Final try for this wheel. my time. Okay, managed to shave eight tenths of my time, so now the difference is even bigger. Uh, let's see how much time we have. We have three minutes left, so we should have enough time to do another run with uh, Grand Prix one wheel. So I'll change the wheel once again. Okay, here we go. Come on, Trustmaster Grand Prix one, you can do it. Immediately a mistake in the first turn. We are improving quite a bit. Go, 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 go! Oh, P1! <laughs> Holy crap! I don't believe it! I can't believe it! Let's see here. Qualifying over. And Trustbuster Grand Prix 1 takes the pole position. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that, was, that was surprising. I didn't uh, realize I could do that. But anyway, let's jump into the race. We'll need to skip the, this qualifying session because I don't want to do it. Unbelievable! Now that was a good lap. Obviously, like I haven't practiced at all, so I like I'm improving my driving constantly. So it's not completely scientific, but I don't care. Let's race. Uh, no pit stops. It's going to be a ten-lap race. Uh, Trustmaster Grand Prix 1 starts from pole position. Trustmaster T500 RS second and. Uh, 
Uh, apparently we are starting with, with this wheel, so let's see how this is going to go. Obviously the other car is, is being driven by the AI. Oh, he was right next to us all the time. try to overtake here though oh, I wish I had more luck in the wheel Clumsy driving. It's very difficult with this wheel. Thrustmaster Grand Prix 1, fastest lap of the race. Hooray! T500 is right in our mirrors. Overtaking. I broke very late and overshot the corner. Oh, this is a, this is an epic battle. Okay, and the light is blinking, that means that we are soon going to change the drivers. Okay, now the uh, AI is controlling the car and we're going to change into the other wheel. So let me once again change the wheel. Okay, I have changed the wheel again. Here we go. We're in control in two seconds. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, Trustmaster RS uh, T500. You're, you're embarrassing us all. A dive bomb. Didn't work. Oh, come on, trust master, you're lo losing to a uh, like twenty five year old old wheel. AI is too too fast. I can't catch him. Uh, 
this is a very, very tough battle. Indeed. Okay, we got the fastest lap. Okay, here comes a move. It's T500 to the lead. Come on, run away. Run away. And we are once again changing to the other wheel. Okay, we are being controlled by the AI again, so once again, let's change the wheel. Alright, and we changed wheels again. We're back with our Trustmaster Grand Prix 1. And this will be the last time we're going to ride with this wheel in this race, so let's try to make the most of it. Come on, old racing wheel! Always rooting for the underdog. One and a half seconds behind. It will be very difficult to catch him. First, uh, first half of the lap was not too bad though. Come on! You can do it! Good lap. And we gained, but only a couple of tens. Driving as fast as I dare. It's not quite fast enough. We're running out of time. If the new wheel gets uh, into the lead, for uh, gets on the final la leg with the lead, then we're we're screwed. Oh, please, no, don't! Just give me a little bit more time. This is our chance. Oh, yes, we make the move! And we're back in the lead! Grand Prix 1, back in the lead! Oh, man, that was a hectic, hectic leg. Now it's time to once again change the lead. Uh, the wheel, I mean. Alright, and once again we changed wheels. We're back we, uh, here with our Trustmaster T500 and uh, the final leg of the race, and we are deep, deep in, in the slipstream. Go, go, go! And we get the move done. And T500 back in the lead.
Like, even though the speed difference on one lap is not not huge with, between th th these two wheels, like, you, you kind of, you would expect that. One lap, anything can happen. Oh, that was a very messy corner. Uh, the difference is still humongous. Uh, how, how the wheel drives and how easy it is to control the car. With, with this new wheel I feel like I'm in total control. I can be very accurate with my inputs. I can put the car wherever I want it on the track. And, uh, well, not <laughs> every time, but with the, the old Trustmaster, the Trustmaster Grand Prix 1, it's like, it's hair-raising, like every corner is hair-raising with that. It's the final lap, by the way, and we are in the lead, but Grand Prix 1 is harassing us. One. I'm not really concentrating all that well. Oh, I messed up the exits. We're going to be under attack here. Let's uh, defend. Oh, he! Oh, he is coming. He's not coming. Oh, this is a very close competition. But here we go, T500 RS wins uh, the race, and it seems like 20 years of development in racing wheel technology. How much does it mean? It means that in 10 laps I am 1.2 seconds faster. <laughs> so yeah, very, very, very scientific stuff. Uh, a very, 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 very clever, clever stuff. Let, let's check out the fastest laps. Yeah, T500 RS, couple of tenths faster. Except that in, in qualifying we got the pole with the, the old racing wheel. But yeah, as I said, this, this was pr a lot of fun. Uh, very, very different experience to race with, with this different wheels. Uh, as I said, Grand Prix 1, very, very difficult to drive. Every corner is hair raising when you, where you don't actually know where you will be able to put the car on the track. Uh, very, very shaky and interesting, but, but you, you know, uh, not that bad. But I do enjoy racing with this one more, I have to, I have to say. So anyway, time to like wrap up this very scientific experiment. I would say that the end result of this experiment is that a new expensive racing wheel is better than a very old cheap racing wheel. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.